Oh good, it's going. Hey everyone, how you doing? <laughs> Today we're just going to go ahead and do another general. So take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> all right, this is going to be another premiere, okay? So I'm testing, and I'm testing more of the time slots, all right? Watch as much of you if of it as you can if you're catching the premiere, all right? I'm going to base it on whatever watch hours show up, no matter how little or big or whatever, okay? Um, so I'm going to do things similarly to yesterday, okay? Let me just cleanse everything. All right. I want to get you guys as well. Get everybody nicely cleansed. All right. There we go. Get my hands. All right, Spirit. We're going to go ahead and pull from the Beltane Oracle. And I will read it at the end, okay? Just so we can get an idea of what to expect energy-wise, what's happening, what the goal is, where to end up for, okay? Whatever is in y'all's energy at this time, Spirit, please thank you for the collective. Let's get one. <laughs> All right, we have ribbons. Ooh, the number 33 might be significant to you at this time. Okay, that is a master number. Arrival of good news, and your team is definitely watching over you and available whenever you need them right now, okay? Just ask for them. For it lives in the silk of my binding, the knot in my truth, the eye of becoming the witness swallowed in stillness. You may be getting some downloads, okay? Some truths may be coming through, okay? But you need to be in some sort of hermit mode, stillness, meditative state to get them, okay? The eye of becoming. You might have some deeper truth about you as your higher self, maybe even something past life, possibly, or some kind of heritage gift in this lifetime, or where you're going with your gifts, okay? The witness. There's a lot of seeing here, so could be more clairvoyance and a clairvoyance upgrade. Seeing. Could be just downloads coming through your third eye. Maybe a chance to really strengthen the third eye right now, okay? Decalcify that pineal gland. lives in the silk of my binding. Get the sense of sort of a promise. A soul contract. Silk. Interesting. Now I'm seeing like the emperor and the empress energy here. Ooh. Could be a connection. You do have two people there. Um... Green man is there for sure. <laughs> so you could actually just be um, connecting deeply with an ancestor or um, one of your spiritual team members, but this could also just be an upgrade severely in your energy here. Okay. I love it. I love seeing that growth. Going from queens and kings to emperor, empress kind of vibe here. Maybe even more. All right. You have food meditation. I can. Interesting. Maybe the foods you eat. Oh, it could be something having to do with your pineal gland. Okay. You might want to start eating more chakra-based foods. Okay. Maybe something Ayurvedic or, um, yeah, look up uh, the foods that would actually help heal and decalcify your pineal gland that's i'm really focused on the third eye here okay um i know for me the about the only thing that i really started really loving to eat was beets that was definitely one of them but there's more foods than that if beets aren't your jam or your jelly or your peanut butter okay there's something about nutrition here that's going to be helpful to to balance 
the ground, okay? More earth energy is here. Lots of fruits, vegetables, ingestibles from nature. Ooh, interesting. All right, Lady G just came into mind talking about eating beef being grounding because, you know, they're, they're grass and, and uh, they're herbivores. <laughs> eating herbivores is okay because it's all about that transfer of energy too, okay? So don't limit it to just adding more fruits and vegetables into your diet. Think of, the, think of that stuff as well, all right? What needs mending? Comfrey. Okay. I see a lot of green here for your heart chakra. Okay. So there's definitely a transformation on a more um, auric kind of scale here, especially with the purple and the upper chakras. Okay. It may actually be something that helps you elevate even more so. Okay. Maybe it's time right now where you can actually mend something. You're going to see the truth behind it and be able to heal from it at this time, okay? Like I said, you, I get a sense you're going to see it. You might be this witness, okay? I'm going to overall energy timing and identifier. And I'll read this at the end as well. First quarter moon in Aries could be dealing with or are in Aries. Step into your power, okay? Oh, and I just heard power foods. Okay, diet could probably help. You might actually literally be stepping into something, like in the tangible. Let's get three from Izzy's deck here, Spirit. And then I'll pull from the dice and get some letter tiles as well. Doppelganger. Ooh, maybe something's going to be a mirrored energy. A copycat kind of energy. I love you. This could also be a soul connection. Thinking high-level soulmate, but something that would mirror your energy. So it could be like a divine counterpart or a twin flame of some kind, okay? Which not all are romantic, by the way. Some have a, a combination. Some are just friends. Some are work colleagues. We'll see. In a few months, I want to get one more spirit. You could be balancing yourself in preparation for this connection to come in. Gemini lovers. All right. Yeah, it definitely could be a soul connection. All right. Work, love, life. As we get into it, I'll be able to tell more. Tell me more. You could be dealing with the Gemini or R1. Gemini, Aries so far. Who else? Spirit, anybody else? Aries for sure. <laughs> okay. Cancer, Aquarius, and Virgo. You could be a Gemini Cancer cusp. They could be a Gemini Cancer cusp. I just notice that cusp is there. Let's get six tiles, spirit. This could be first, last, middle, initial, acronyms, state, country, etc. Uh, words could be here as well. Names could be here as well. J and I. H and V, which wants to hang out on its side. Interesting. The letter J, the letter I, the letter H, V, E, ooh, jive and hive. Interesting. Okay. N, vine, real earthy. Maybe there's fruits off the vine. I do see grapes. Okay. Vein, where your blood flows, getting your blood pumping, get moving and grooving. I see the name Jen. 
VIN as in like, you know, vehicle identification number. It might be specific. Hen. A chicken definitely is a food that eats only grains and earth, earth foods, okay? Hive, you got bees. Honey. Just looking around here. See if I see anything else. Gin. Interesting. Although it's not spelled correctly. I guess it's one of the spellings. Okay. Genie, gin, gin. Okay. Maybe there's some sort of dark energy, okay, that needs to be cleared out. Although not all gins are dark. Some are actually neutral or positive, okay? Maybe it's just some sort of uh, leftover thing. That could be that doppelganger energy, okay? Something showing you a, a, dark, a dark energy that can be transmuted at this time, okay? All right, tell me about this doppelganger. Two thirds of this deck is karmic, so it should dig out whatever makes it a doppelganger, right? What's, what seems dark about it? What's being mirrored to you? Okay, what are you gonna witness? One more. All right, hey, how you doing? Grudge holder, there you go. Could be somebody that, did. resentment might be an issue, okay? Three might be significant, I see three there. Could be a fire sign too, since it's a candle. You do have Aries. Into you, maybe somebody that um, is into you. <laughs> Good chemistry, great vibes, positive, maybe at one point. Maybe they're kind of grudging on a situation that's just not there anymore, right? Maybe they miss it. Maybe it's really just um, a hidden insecurity, okay? And of course, that could be you. Take a couple of resonates, all right? Caught a case. Interesting. That could be a literal identifier, STD. Uh, this could be just a spiritually transmitted disease as well. I do see that with this. But this could also very well be a medical issue that could identify the person of any kind, okay? I'm just looking at the stethoscope and the pills. Actually, it looks more like supplements, okay? All right. Tell me about this Cauda case. I'm going to clarify it a little bit. We'll do an extra few. One for Cauda case, please. Divination abuser. Okay, that's karma. That is straight up karma. Okay. Uh, maybe they were misusing their gifts, okay, and they got sick or something. All right. Grudge holder. And maybe now they're ruminating on, you know, why they're sick. And it's because of whatever karma they were doing. Maybe they feel put out. Dirt digging. Looking for dirt on you or vice versa? Don't tell me about into you. I would say so, especially if they're dirt digging. Maybe they're trying to figure things out, okay? Played out. Maybe um, this is a situation you might not want anymore. You're going to be shown something here that you're going to actually learn from, okay? That you can actually tangibly heal in this situation. And it may even reflect that energetic mirroring on for them. It may actually help them flip the script on how they've been doing things because clearly th this is not a good way to do it, right? You're kind of sick and tired of, you know, watching them play themselves out like that, right? And then try to like blame you for it or whatever, especially if they're a grudge holder. Um, I 
Interesting. I'm just looking at that in a few months there. And you almost see the month of June. That's not quite a few months. April, May, kind of, sort of. Okay. Maybe at the tail end of June, not quite June. There may be some kind of switch up here. Okay. They may need you to teach them something. Like what needs mending here. All right. If anything, to lead by example, maybe they might actually be in a position to listen once they've gone through for a few months, whatever this is. Okay. Let's see. Right now they're just in this resentful ruminating kind of energy, but after a while they might have some time to cool down. So I'm also seeing the played out, the divination of these are all together as well. Maybe it clicks for them, okay? Maybe they witness their own, okay? And it might lighten the load onto you as well. Let's see. Tell me more. Ooh, yeah, they're not healing. Ace of Cups in reverse, Cancer Place of Scorpio. Looks like it's a non start completely. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. They may really just want to go back to the way things used to be. All right. That is Mercury Capricorn, by the way. And two of swords in the reverse. Bad idea. Bad plan. Kind of block. Definitely blocked blessings. I, I get the feeling that you're going to be protected from this. Okay. You're going to have to be in some sort of stillness and change up your diet a little bit. Because whatever they're doing, maybe they're trying to, I, I mean, I don't really see magic or manifestation here with this, but they could be looking for ways, you know, to, to wish you to catch a case. You know what I mean? Of whatever. Just because they're holding a grudge. And maybe they're looking, they're dirt digging for that. And they might also be, you know, abusing divination. I do get the sense, you know, you're going to be protected here, okay? Step into your power. Take control of the situation. Own your energy, right? These connections could be tricky, especially if clearly one's awakened and the other one is not quite realizing what they're doing with their energy. <laughs> they're just doing what they've done before in the tangible Okay. All right. Uh, tell me about this two of swords in reverse here. I don't know if it's an automatic block or maybe you need to block it. Okay. Whatever it is, it's being manifested or needs to manifest. Be focused on with intention. King of swords. Taurus Gemini energy. We also have Virgo there too with the magician. Dang. Dang it, it ain't. All right, three came out. All right, Clay, that's enough. <laughs> All right, we have Seven of Swords. There is going to be justice for this, okay? It's sneaky behavior. Just focus on your journey at this time, okay? Go into the unknown, Eight of Cups, and heal. Be the King of Cups in this situation. Aquarius Pisces is here as well, okay? Um, you could also be moving on towards an Aquarius Pisces as well. All right. Or someone that can help you with that. This could be, this could be a masculine therapist. Okay. Literally <laughs> to identify. All right. 
but it doesn't have to be, but it could be somebody that you can talk to, right? Uh, somebody that would more than likely have a good head on their shoulders and take charge of the situation, okay? But do so in a very sublime, loving way, all right? All right, tell me about this Ace of Cups in reverse. What needs mending, Spirit? Clearly something's not being healed in this situation that needs to be healed. And if it is a reciprocal mirrored connection, uh, like a twin flame or a divine counterpart, whatever you do for yourself will help that connection. So if it's their mending that needs to be done, you could still do it for yourself and raise your vibration and be all hunky-dory, okay? And eventually it might help things click and let them let off the energy from you, okay? So let's find out what that is. Ace of Cups reverse, what's not healing? What's a non-start here? <laughs> okay, I said what I said. All right. I don't read this uh, deck in reverse. Pisces energy? Okay, could be fierce, all right? With the moon being here? Or maybe just not paying attention to your intuition or needing to pay attention to your intuition more, right? Again, with the eye of the becoming and the witness swallowed its stillness, okay? So you might really need to focus on uh, third eye crown chakra stuff at the moment, okay? Try to get your downloads and be shown the way here. Could show up in your dreams as well. You might need to heal your dreams. Ha! Death transformation, okay. Could also just be releasing those fears as well. Okay. So, I mean, if there's anything even remotely minute that could be healed for you, okay, or just a touch up, even if it's something you've been working on, do that, okay? Any positive um, forward movement will actually help alleviate whatever this is, okay? You may be having dreams about this person acting a fool and maybe showing up in your readings, okay, um, with other readers or here or wherever, okay, or even your own personal, but that's the reason why, okay. It's this connection that's kind of gunked up because they're not quite in alignment yet and they're not doing the work, okay. So you can do the work for yourself, right, to alleviate some of that pressure, okay, and it may actually kind of in true doppelganger mirrored fashion, okay, twinsy kind of fashion here, will actually show up for them in their dreams, and maybe they might pay attention, take note, and actually do something about it. Maybe if they're if they're abusing divination, they will know where to go at least to figure it out, okay. And maybe even do it for a positive reason, okay. All right. Let's read your guidance here. What else, Spirit? Ribbons. 33. Breaks down to a 6 as well. We do have June energy here. That is, you could be a June Gemini. <laughs> We're dealing with one. All right. I don't know if I said that before. All right. Awareness. I just feel like it's stuck. It's not. It's just thick. Okay. Dear Sacred Soul, Ribbons reminds you that you already know the answer to what you have inquired about. Because <laughs> your soul knows and you are your soul. You are connected to your situation in a way that makes it clear what your next step should be. So follow the signs, or in this case, the ribbons, maybe literally ribbons, okay? Especially their colors, they might be significant. And allow the truth of your query to come to your consciousness. Trust in your ability to see what you need at this moment. It may be scary, and I do see the moon here, okay? Or require more of you than you'd hope. But you can move forward with this knowledge that this path is for your greatest good and will lead you to success. Additionally, pulling this card means the signs have been around you for some time, waiting for you to invite them into your awareness. And perhaps maybe within the last few months or in the upcoming few months, okay? Be as, what did I say about colors? Okay. Be especially mindful of any colors, animals, numbers, or feelings that cro crop up repeatedly as they are messages from the divine guiding you to the truth of your situation. Okay. Did a whole video on the colors. Okay. So check that out. Um, it should be in the 
It's not in the how-tos. It's got to be in the education playlist, okay? It might be in the how-tos. Um, and it could be used a number of ways for science, synchronicity, all of that. Now, it's suggesting ribbons could be a very specific thing. So, like, you know, pay attention if you happen to catch a – if like a gift, a present, something like that, or anything in the store shelves or anything like that, or maybe a ribbon that a little girl is wearing in their hair or whatever. Take note of the color, okay? And if you see it, say, three times or six times, okay, um, within three hours, three days, six days, six hours, whatever, okay, whatever feels comfortable, whatever seems to be in, uh, consistent for you, that could be your sign, your synchronicity to pay attention what that means, okay, for you, as far as this healing is concerned, okay? I'm going to go ahead with the Moonology Spirit. I tend to forget it. <laughs> it's first quarter moon in Aries. There you are. All right, step into your power. Something is holding you back from racing towards your next goal. Achieving anything is nearly always part inspiration and part hard work. Believe that you can create whatever you want. Be you. Take action and be smart, but also be bold. Don't allow inhibitions or others' restrictions to hold you back. So if you're feeling, you're probably feeling this energy, okay, or at least well. But no, it's not you, okay? This could also be a very good lesson in terms of discerning what's your energy and what's not and being able to kind of ID it that way, right? Which may play into your purpose, by the way. <laughs> Be systematic, but also allow yourself to get excited about what you want. If someone seems to be working against you now, deal with your emotions as calmly as you can. Manifesting mix. This card represents a mix of having the courage to chase your goals, no matter what anyone else says, while still planning and being strategic. Manifesting mindset. Whatever you're doing right now, remember that as well, that as, well as passion, you need a plan. Okay. That's the way to overcome any obstacles. Tune into your manifesting powers. The solar plexus chakra, Manapura, is where you store your courage and confidence to seek out the life you're dreaming of. It's found a little above your navel and is bright yellow in color. Okay, so maybe yellow might be specific, okay? That will tell you, hey, you're going to need to strengthen up your solar, get your solar plexus cojones in action, okay? <laughs> if you see yellow, all right? You can also hold up this card. If you want to screenshot it, go for it. To your solar plexus and visualize yourself in a column of yellow light from the highest source. Call in the energies with these words. It's an affirmation. Quote, energies of the first quarter moon in Aries, thank you for giving me confidence I need to chase my dreams. End quote. The best time to manifest is when the moon is in Aries, and we just had new moon Aries, okay? You might be able to work a little bit more of the energy right now. I mean, we do have Mercury retrograde in Aries as well, so Aries energy is still kicking, okay? So you could do it. Or on a Tuesday, which is Mars' day, or during Mars' hour, okay? The first quarter moon in Aries takes place when the sun is in Capricorn and the moon is in Aries. It knows that a steady pace is as important as inner fire. All right, let's get food meditation. I can. All right. I also read the numbers here too, okay? They might be significant to you. All right, the number 70, hold on. 73 might be significant. That could be like 1973 in age. We also have July, March, and October, 7th, 3rd, and 10th here as well. Okay. Oh, perfect. The crystal pairing for this card is fire opal. So if you like working with crystals, fire opal would be helpful at this time. The affirmation on this card, quote, I am a conduit for prosperity. I receive inspiration from the smallest X. The smallest act today will ripple out and dynamically cast your journey into alignment. Our bodies are bio computers, which need certain inputs of code to be high performing. Find something no smaller than a grape 
and no larger than a strawberry. Take one small bite out of it and let it sit in your mouth for 10 seconds before you chew. These seconds will touch beyond your taste buds and bring more awareness to how powerful your mouth is. You can create prosperity in your life, but you can easily speak it away. Ooh, you're going to be strengthening your throat chakra. They may have a lot to do with your purpose as well. You might be a verbal healer of some kind, you know, like a throat singer or um, a teacher or something. Okay. <laughs> a singer <laughs> or of any kind. Okay. Be mindful of what you put into your mouth and what comes out. If this card, oh, it's been... It's not accompanied by anything, but I'm going to go ahead and read it anyway. Your guides may be trying to reach you about... <laughs> Sorry, Spirit, you're funny. <laughs> I just, I'll tell you in a second. All right, your guides may be trying to reach you about something important and you need to lighten up. What I heard was, we need to talk to you about your car insurance, your car's warranty. <laughs> Okay, so there may be a joke there that is more specific to at least one of you, okay? That could also be a sign of synchronicity. Maybe you get a voicemail that's like that if those are still going around by bots, okay? All right, that's too funny. Oh, I love it when it happens like that, too. All right. And I immediately saw that obelisk that, you know, popped up in 2020 as well, like a meme, you know, how I think it was just random obelisks that people were putting all over the world and somebody had made a meme of it <laughs> and on the obelisk itself it said that <laughs> that's what I, I visually just saw okay oh, that is too funny we're gonna be funny tonight apparently so in other words don't take this so seriously okay obviously it's just frustration energy and you might need to lighten it up with humor that's a polarity on the frequency scale with those emotions, okay? That energy. Comfrey. What needs to what needs mending? Comfrey loves to mend skin, bones, soil. There's so much to do. She dives deep, magicking molecules, rebuilding broken chains, restacking cells into tissue and tissue into muscles. This is joyous work for Comfrey, so she tends to work quickly, sometimes too quickly. So pace yourself. Her boldness can border on recklessness, and her mad scientist exuberance, she can get ahead of herself and forget first steps. Again, with that plan, right? You don't want to miss any part of it. Comfrey is a reminder to work systemic, sy systematically, starting with the deepest layers and working your way out. Even creative endeavors need to be built on a solid foundation. If Comfrey appears, Ask what needs mending and then pause to assess and plan before diving in. Okay. All right, let's get you final guidance from the fourth day. Druid wisdom and Avalon magic. And we'll get three from each spirit. And it's 333, 33, three. <laughs> 33, 33. Interesting. Again, with the 33, so threes might be very significant. Okay. 333, 333. Maybe things are going to happen in threes for you. Okay. All right. We have the wild god. Go to the woods, to moss, to mud, to magic. Okay. Forests, trees in general wherever you can get them. The green maid. The green face speak to you. Let them guide you to safety. Okay. There might be messages coming through. The witch hair. Cross the threshold, leap the hedge, go over the wall. Okay. Whatever obstacles are there, they might, you might be guided towards that. Okay. Druid wisdom, please. Ooh, nice. One more. Last one. Thank you. The long unnamed path. But what if the path leads to something better than you felt? 
Just keep on the journey and the fears will soon melt. Carry carnelian for grounding and relief. Carnelian's another great stone. Path. <laughs> you also have the ritual of air. A spell for luck whispered in the air. The songs of bards will carry you there. Carry natural citrine crystal for joy to come. Okay. All right. Ooh, another bridgey kind of path here. All right. Bridge between worlds. The signs of the universe become apparent once you recognize the universe inside yourself. We are the bridge between life and beyond. Carry or wear a Celtic tree of life charm for protection, luck, legacy, wisdom, and peace. Okay. You can also just go ahead and grab yourself a picture of it and visualize it as well. Okay. If you want to draw it, start maybe start using it as a sigil or something. You know, when you, um, like, let's say you have roll-on perfume or cologne or something, you can use it as a sigil, okay? All right. Bridge between worlds. You're definitely going to be connecting here, okay? And getting the dates... All right, Avalon Magic, and I'll show you the fronts too. There might be any of the, the folks here might be similar to people you know in person that maybe this grudge holder is an identifier, okay? Ooh, talk about togetherness here. All right, love always supports you and aligns you with your true purpose, okay? And I'll tell you why. Because it is the frequency of the divine <laughs> and your higher self you are divine <laughs> have faith in yourself and in your higher powers they lead you in dark times even when you feel you've lost guidance okay be fierce be brave do things that challenge you Search for your own sacred grail. So, in other words, your cup, right? Your feelings, your emotions. So you can keep that put together for you. All right? There you go, guys. Hopefully that helps. Have a good one. Until next time. Bye. Oh, sign up for all the contests too, okay? <laughs> Bye.